into myself. What a wonderful world. I see stars of blue, clouds of white, bright blessed day. Dark sacred nights, and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. The colors of the rainbow, they are pretty in the sky. And
Children of the future, I hear you calling from the wrong. You are sacred and you are looking at me. I pray to you, I pray to you. You are sacred and you are looking at me. Ancestors, I hear you calling from the south. You are sacred and you are looking at me. I pray to you, I pray to you. You are sacred and you are looking at me. All life on earth, I hear you calling from the soil. You are sacred and you are looking at me. I pray to you, I pray to you. You are sacred and you are looking at me. Children of the light, calling from the earth, moon, and stars. You are sacred and you are looking at me. Sacred and you are looking at me. I pray to you. I pray to you. You are sacred and you are looking at me. Still voice from within. I hear you calling from within, from on high. You are sacred and you are looking at me. You are sacred and you are looking at me. I pray to you. I pray to you. You are sacred and you are looking at me. We are here to discuss, are we creators or are we victims? We can't be both. It is an interesting question for me, and I come up with answers for myself. It is incumbent upon each person to ask themselves that question and come up with answers for themselves. That question is right up there with some of the old axiom questions, like, who am I, where am I, and why am I here? When these questions are asked, you will get answers if one asks themselves these questions. I ask myself those questions in Worcester, Massachusetts, back in the 70s. I was, just, um, I was just in the middle of my transformation. I was coming in off the streets. I, I rehabilitated myself from street life. And I had just transformed in front of a whole community of people that knew me as a confirmed criminal. And I just changed my life on my own through, through affirmations and the thoughts that I, that I think. And one of the affirmations, I had many affirmations. I had been working on the science of the spoken word since I was a little boy. And I worked with that science of the spoken word even throughout my whole street career. It was about 10 years and I ran all over the country uh, running the streets. I hitchhiked all over the country and I knew the power of the imagination. Uh, so I would image myself, I would imagine myself arriving at my destination safely when I would get out there. So I was the type of person that if I didn't have any money to leave a certain city or town, I would take a bus to the end of the town and I'd get out there and I'd start walking. This was in my early 20s. There was no town that can keep me because I felt free, I can go anywhere. And, and I had a, if I was going someplace, I would imagine myself arriving there, being greeted and received and all of that stuff. And then along the way, um, I had songs from my grandmother's church, Precious Lord. Do y'all know some of these? Precious Lord, take my hand, just a closer walk with thee, you know. Uh, uh, I had these in my repertoire, even though uh, I was living a misguided life. I still had the, the spirit that uh, retained all of this information, and I used it in my travels and my journey. At the time, I did not tr fully understand um, what I was doing, or the power of the spoken word, or 
or, or these affirmations and these songs. Um, but I, I just knew that it, it helped um, for me to create my own reality. Um, this was in my early 20s. So I'm, I'm hitchhiking through the South, you know, Mississippi, New Orleans, and, and I'm out there on the highways and byways of uh, 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 a very truculent Mississippi, and I'm singing Precious Lord, take my head. I mean, I knew where I was at, and, but I had to go through there. And um, 